as far as it's just a rhyme, forgetting about what he's talking about and who he's talking to, rhyme-wise, this is cool. I ain't no gangster, but I got some bangers, some chains and some blades, a couple of knives, choppers and jammeries, a partridge and a pear tree. My 12 days of Christmas was nothing but lies. I like that he's, he's being honest and he's like, I ain't no gangster. You see what I'm saying? That's cool, I appeal to shit like that. But at the same time, just cause you're not a gangster don't mean that you're a sucker now either. It's kind of funny listing a partridge in a pear tree, now that I think about it. <laughs> Getting choppers and jammy, that's, this is pretty funny actually, this is pretty good. I don't know, like a three and a half maybe? Yeah. They made a movie about you. You're in everybody's top 10. <laughs> not necessarily. You're not getting better with time. It's fine, Eminem, put down the pen. Or write an apology over the simple fact you had to diss to acknowledge me. I already know this is MGK, uh, reply to Eminem. Uh, this was strong. Although reading it back now, when it says you're in everybody's top 10, that's not true. I wasn't necessarily a fan of MGK prior to this whole diss record thing. I didn't necessarily follow his music as far as what I feel more and what I felt was a, just a stronger, more direct diss. And just to me, the better song is something that I can actually listen to. I f with the MGK one. Uh, so for that, I'll give them a four. I knew this girl named Tropicana. She's always juicing. Producing cash from a sexual task. She loves men that trick like Halloween and treat. You ain't paid and your grade is incomplete. That's me from Slow Down. Classic hip hop from a classic time, classic song. Yeah, that's some classic shit. But I'm not gonna be super vain and give myself a five, so I'll, go, I'll give it a four. And as far as Lord Jamar, <laughs> you better leave me the hell alone or I'll show you an Elvis clone Walk up in this house you own, thrust my pelvic bone, use your telephone, and go fetch me the remote. Put my feet up and just make myself at home. I mean, I was already, already quoted as saying, rhyme-wise, I, I expect a little more out of Eminem, like to be a little more wordy with his shit, you know what I mean? As far as it's just a rhyme, forgetting about what he's talking about and who he's talking to, rhyme-wise, this is cool. It's not the illest Eminem shit that people look for when they look for Eminem, but I guess he had something to say here. See, usually he rhymes for rhyme's sake and just puts words together, but here he actually had certain concepts he wanted to interject. I'm not gonna sit here and fully break down this whole rhyme where he talks about being a clone of Elvis and you know, especially the go fetch me the remote part. That's very disturbing to say the least for a white man to infer to a black man to go fetch him the remote. And that's how I interpret it, that he's telling me to fetch him the remote. Now, some people will say that he's saying he's gonna fetch himself the remote. I don't interpret it like that. And most people that hear it don't interpret it like that. To me, a word like fetch invokes certain Imagery, which is not cool. But you know what? Let's give this a three. Let's give it a three. Hating's a contagious disease and is never treatable. Riding around like with like 20 years in my vehicle. Top down while I'm switching gears. New Beamer Coupe. Even if it ain't on me, you know it's always reachable. I'm trying to see where the second part rhymes. Cause I, <laughs> like the first part is kind of slick as far as treatable 20 years in my vehicle. Oh, well he's still doing the reachable. I see, okay. So he's still rhyming reachable with vehicle. Ah, right, okay. Rhyme wise, it's cool. Message wise, this is that drug dealer talk, you know. Although it might be slick and I like hard hip hop and shit like this. It's shit like this that helps to pull at the fabric of society as a whole. I really like that 20 years in my vehicle 
but I'm gonna have to give it maybe a three just because it's the content that loses me. Play with that Nintendo. I fuck her, then I fuck her kinfolk. I am a mother nympho. Little I'm the king, Sacramento. Why does this sound familiar? A nympho is only a female. Just to, if this is a male that wrote this, I just want you to know that a nympho is only a female and the male word for that is a satyr. FYI, this sound like some, you know, little fun trap type lyrics. Like I can almost guarantee this is over a trap beat. I'll give it like a two. You know, it's not like the greatest rhyme or nothing, but I'm sure when you hear it with the beat, it's catchy or some shit like that. Yeah, I miss you, but I got no time for that. You was my little lady, drive me crazy. I was fine with that. How you just gonna play me? I ain't fine with that. <laughs> This is some shit actually I think can relate to. Like, like at some point in your life, I'm sure everybody, every man has felt this way about a woman at some point. It's cool. I like the feeling of it. I'll give it like a three and a half just for the sentiment of being frustrated and we standing with you, brother. Now, a lot of people think this is easy as it looks books and books and rhyme concepts and hooks session to session to get thoughts manifesting stressing and stressing to hit the world with a blessing that's my boy right there um you know when when people talk about some of the greatest lyricists of all time and rappers of all time i feel like my boy might get left out a lot and he shouldn't so many other MCs that came after him and so many dudes wanted to rhyme like him. We're talking about Grand Poobah, ladies and gentlemen, from Brand Nubian. Just, that's a fly rhyme. And just for the fact that Poobah doesn't always get his due as he should, I'm gonna give this one a five, all right? For my peoples. I get paid to make music, burst through walls like Kool-Aid came through. Came through with they tools and they goons, childish. Honeymoon them. Bang, zoom, to the moon, Alice. It's amusing. I mean, it's funny. The thought of busting through like the Kool-Aid, you know, through the wall, that's funny. I don't fully get the pattern though of how, how, how it falls. So maybe I'm losing the pattern because I'm totally not familiar with who this is. Two and a half. Hey, yo, peace, what's good? This is Lord Jamar and I just rated those bars. Make sure you subscribe to BET on YouTube.